So here we are up at Birth Barracuda yet again buying more motorcycle parts for the stupid build, which this is being way harder than it needs to be. Roll the intro. Intro, you idiot, not intro. All right, high shot stuff I, uh, that's above my pay grade. Going over to OCC and other stuff that has nothing to do with me. Oh, he's taking home a V rod. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. All right, uh, parts, 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 parts. Got it. Well, thanks, Buzz. All right. We just so happen to have a 48 on the floor, which was surprising to me. So I can show you really quick what the problem I was having with the turn signals. So these three lovely little motorcycles right here are all sportsters. They all have basically all the same crap. And if you'll see right here, here, and here, all of them out with the same turn signal in the same place, which means they all have the same generic mounting point. But the 48 is the first Sportster, Harley, whatever, that came with stock undermounted mirrors, which means you can't mount the freaking turn signal right there, which means they decided to put it right there at the top of the triple tree, which is why you have that specific back here with that specific little down tube and that little notch right there where it does connect. So I have a 48 and every time I go to buy parts for my motorcycle, I'll go, hey, I have a 48 because the wiring harness and things like that matter. And I forget to tell them that I have a 72 front end, which is basically the same thing as everything else. That's the problem I'm having. All right, hopefully this alleviates that problem. Let's go to the garage. I know I said I'll see you in the garage, but a couple of things have happened ever since I said that. I went home after birds, went home, test fitted two parts, realized that they fit, and I was absolutely correct about what I was saying about the difference between every Sportster and the 48 being completely different. Well, as soon as I did that, uh, I had to go to the shame due to emergencies and things like that. So that was Thursday, Friday, I just got lazy. Saturday, Sunday was a holiday, Monday was a holiday, whatever the hell, blah, blah, blah. I had planned to go to the garage today and I had called Spiff and AJ and they were gonna come help me. And the plans were that we were gonna marathon the Sportster and just get it mostly finished do all the big parts to the point where I can ride it around and get it home and we'll do the small parts later. Because I knew we had to leave the garage by the end of the month. What I didn't expect was getting a phone call from Josh going, we need to get everything out of the garage now. I'll let him tell the longer story of it. I'm sure he's gonna have a very good time. He is way more articulate than I am on certain things. So go enjoy Josh's version of the story. But the fact of the matter is, there is no more garage. Everything that we had in there is now in one storage unit. And I don't, I, and I still haven't been there and I don't know where it is. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know what it looks like in there. <laughs> I don't know what to do right now, but I'll figure it out, I guess. Hopefully, maybe. Cause the thing is, I really try to be a man of my word and I made a deal with JMP Cycles. I was gonna do this every other week. Wednesday, I couldn't even do Wednesday anymore because I have to work Tuesday, which conflicted with shoot, edit, release. So I have to do it on Thursday because I can do, because I can sh whatever. So even that, I already felt bad that I couldn't fulfill that obligation and that commitment that I had said I could. And I feel horrible that I can't do anything about it. But here's what I think I'm going to do. So for the next two to three months for my Patreon of the Month giveaway, I'm gonna be including a $60 gift certificate to JMP Cycle so you can sign up for the Riders Plus membership because I really believe that more people should be trying to do these things on their own motorcycles. It's not that hard. It's scary looking and you're afraid of things. I think this will help. And I think this might motivate a lot of you to start doing some of these things that you've been thinking about. Because trust me, as somebody who owned a motorcycle for 10 years, stop. It's about time you start wrenching on your motorcycle. Now, to the shame, uh, I'm in a secret bar at the shame, though, but it really is out here. It's a great little bar. Uh, so I, I'm thinking about starting a new channel. I know, I've been barely able to keep up with this channel. Hear me out. But being behind the bargain has really sparked the desire to do more bar centric content again. I know a lot of you really enjoy the knob bar the few times that I've done it. I've always wanted to do bar content. I just haven't been able to figure out how to do it and make it unique. The more I've been making content on here, the more I've been figuring out how to make it me but the problem is, is i don't know if i should make a separate channel for bar only content or if i can leave it on this channel and hopefully you guys will enjoy it because i don't want to like really confuse but it's not gonna be just bartending it's gonna be bar everything it's gonna be how to make drinks how to order drinks 
how to make drinks at home, how to set up your own home bar, cutting ice, making ice, cutting garnish. But I'm also gonna go to breweries, I'm gonna go to bars, I'm gonna talk about those things as well. So there's still gonna be an element of motorcycle in there to a certain degree, but there's gonna be a lot of me behind the bar going, hey, we're gonna talk about how to cut garnish, how to maintain your herbs behind the bar, how to create your own home bar, things like that. It is gonna be very industry forward and I worry that a lot of you people who are here for the generalistic motorcycle stuff and building, which I still plan on doing, I'm worried about isolating you guys. And the thing is, is like, I, this channel's me. It's not my motorcycle. It's not me being a bartender, it's me. And those things are exactly who I am. I love riding my motorcycles. I love working my motorcycle, but I'm a bartender. I like bartending. I love the history of bartending. I want to be a better bartender. I want to teach other people how to be better bartenders. I want to teach people how to do these things at home. I want to teach bar etiquette. Like when you walk in a bar and how to not piss off the bartender because it happens a lot. And it might be something so simple that you didn't realize you were doing. But the situation is, never try to get the bartender's attention. Let them come to you. You'll have a much happier bartender and a much more respectful bartender if you show them that you're there being respectful towards them and you're, and you're waiting on them. Because the more you try to rush me, the longer you're gonna wait when it comes to me. Not the point. So again, I don't know if I should make a separate channel. I'd prefer to keep it on this one, but what I like the community I have on this channel as well and I feel that it might. You get where I'm coming from. You know where I'm going. Down in the comments, would you like to see more bar content? Would you like to learn how to make cocktails and just general behavior at a bar, which seems to be lacking nowadays? But again, you know what's coming. Put it down in the comments. What do you think? Would you like to see more bar content? Would you like to learn how to make would you like to learn how to make cocktails and set up your own home bar? Would you like to learn how to make clear ice and how to cut it? You know, crazy weird stuff like that. It's things that I've learned from other people, people that I can have on this channel that are experts and professionals that, it is always something I've wanted to do and only recently have I figured out what is a new and different way of doing it. Because you know what, there's a thousand other channels out there and they all do the same thing and I'm very bored most of the time and there are very few that do a good job and there's a few, and there's very few that do a great job. I hope to be one of them. Okay, what do you think? And on that note, that's where I'm gonna end this video. Thank you to everybody at Forgotten Angels who saved my ass and got my motorcycle out of that stupid garage. Again, Mr. Shade Resurgent will have a much better and more in depth and a much more eloquent story for you than I can in a story to tell. But again, everybody at Forgotten Angels, thanks for getting everything out of there. We got that entire place gutted in 10 hours, or Josh got everybody to gut that place in 10 hours. And I am grateful because my motorcycle didn't end up in the trash, which means I can hopefully go forward on this motorcycle build, which I'm trying to figure out how to do now. Uh, I feel terrible because I don't have a video for it. We all know how this works. Don't forget to like this video. Do not forget to subscribe. And as always, catch you on the flip side. Slap.